Hello everyone and welcome back to Dr. Debt Free. My name is Jess and on this channel I discuss the tips and tricks I'm using to get out of my six-figure debt, how I'm creating healthy money habits, and also I hope it's a space where I inspire you to live a healthy and happy life on your current budget. In today's video I'm discussing sinking funds and the sinking funds I've created for 2022. Now for this, I'm going to be filling out my sinking funds in my budget by paycheck by the budget mom workbook. Now this is last year's version, but it is undated. I just happen to love last year's planner so much that I ended up buying myself another one for 2022 back in August before she released her new version. But I will have her new book linked down below if you are looking for a great way to get organized with your finances for 2022. So I'm just gonna flip over to the sinking funds. And there's a couple page here, pages here I wanna go through. Now, if you have never heard of sinking funds, um, it's something that people use in the finance industry. It's basically savings for planned spending. So it's, savings accounts that people create for specific expenditures that they have in the future. For example, it can be a one-year expense, say like Christmas time, or maybe you do an annual vacation, um, or it can also be just bigger expenses that you're saving up for over time, like um, a new car, or a wedding, or a, a bigger, more extravagant vacation. Um, so today I'm going to go over what I'm specifically saving up sinking funds for, and then um, I'll show you how I fill it out in my budget by paycheck workbook. So for the year of 2022, I have five different sinking funds that I'll be saving up for. First and foremost, because I am an independent contractor, I work as a chiropractor, but technically I am self-employed, so taxes aren't taking off of each of my paychecks, so I have to do that myself. I want to put aside $24,000 for the year for taxes. So I'm just filling this out in this yearly savings goal chart. So my yearly goal is $24,000. So when you divide that by 12, that's $2,000 per month. And my due date, I'm just gonna leave that blank. It's the end of the year. So for my next goal, I'm going to um, wanna put aside um, $1,500 for the year for car repairs, but also oil changes. Now I'm hoping I won't have to spend too much of this this year, but I like the idea of having something put aside should something happen to my car. It is a brand new car I bought it in 2021, so hoping we don't get to the point where I need to use anything, but even if it's just a couple hundred dollars for oil changes, it's nice to have that money put aside versus budgeting for that specifically during the month that I need to use it. So $1,500 divided by 12 is $125 a month. And maybe I'll just write December 31st in each of these. For my next school, um, because I am a chiropractor, I do have to pay licensing dues each year. Now, some of these come out monthly, which you'll see in my um, monthly budgets, but then I also have bigger fees that I pay once a year. So I wanna put aside $1,200 for my licensing dues for 2022. So that is $100 a month. And I also want to have that in the account by December 31st. This upcoming year is set to be a pretty exciting year for some of my family members and friends. I have a few friends and family members who are expecting babies. So um, I'm expecting to have to purchase some gifts for them, as well as a few friends that are getting married in the upcoming year. So even just putting aside some money to give them on their wedding day. So I'm going to budget $1,200 for gifts for the year, which is $100 to put aside each month. 
with a due date of December 31st. Now for my last sinking fund, we have an 11 month old big bull mastiff dog. He is still fairly young, but we don't have pet insurance for him. So I do want to start putting aside some money should we ever need to, you know, send him to the vet for checkups. I know his annual shots are coming up soon and we also have to pay for tick medication throughout the year. So I like just having some money put aside that way we're not having to put things on credit cards. It's not taking much away from a specific monthly budget. So I like putting a little bit aside each month. So I'm gonna put $75 away each month, which will total $900 for the year to be saved up by December 31st. Now, I like to track my sinking funds right in this budget book, and I just keep this total amount each month in one account. I know there are some people that like to keep each specific category in a different account, and that works too. Um, for me, I like to use a high interest savings account and I have my account with Simply Financial. I'll link it down below if that's something you're interested in, if you are Canadian. It's definitely a great account um, and they have very low fees to no fees, which is awesome when you're looking to pay off debt and save a lot of money, especially when you're just having different accounts for items like this. Now, each month, I will track each of these goals on this yearly savings tracker. So taxes will be tracked January through December in this column and so on. So I will be posting monthly updates on my sinking funds just to update and make sure that I'm staying on track with my goal. It'd be even better if I could get ahead. And the nice thing I really like about the Budget Mom, Budget My Paycheck workbook is they have these fun little savings visual trackers. So I'm gonna speed the video up here and I'll show you how I fill these out. Because I only have five sinking funds, only five of these flower pots will be filled out, but who knows, maybe I'll add a sinking fund or two throughout the year. So for my first sinking fund, we have taxes. And that is with a goal of 24,000. So I'm just gonna divide, there is, 10 leaves, so 24,000 divided by 10 is $240 on each of these leaves. So just writing that down. And I'm gonna color these when the money is actually put in the account. That'll help motivate me to stay on track with my sinking fund goals. So I'm just gonna go through the rest of the five sinking funds and fill those numbers out and I'll meet you back at the end of filling this out to close out the video. So I've filled out all the numbers on my sinking fund saving visuals. So I was super excited to show you guys how these are filled out and give you an update each month. If you are setting up sinking funds for 2022, let me know what they are in the comment section down below.